Hi, I'm Johan Alathambi, Technical Lead for the WSO2 Identity Server. So about 10 to 12 years back, if you ask an average IT employee in an organization, what is Identity and Access Management, or IAM, the typical response would be, well, it's the LDAP, or SAML. People thought that the user store, like LDAP, or Active Directory, was actually the IAM system, or protocol like SAML was IAM. People really didn't know what IAM was. But today, we've come a long way from there. Today, successful digital businesses understand what is an IAM system and why it is important for an enterprise. They position IAM systems as a critical cornerstone of their IT infrastructure. Successful IT projects start thinking about IAM systems even before they start thinking about the applications and services, simply because they know that the IAM system is there to live for a long time compared to their average application. And also getting the identity and access management system right as soon as possible will yield benefits of scale. Today we are in a point where the list of features supported by an identity and access management system is not a key differentiator anymore. Most of the popular IAM vendors support more or less the same set of features. But what organizations are really after are those non-functional requirements such as security, cost, scalability, high availability, performance and deployment options. The WSO2 Identity Server is a 100% free and open source identity and access management solution that can solve all your identity and access management needs. It has a couple of deployment options. You can deploy it on your on-premise data center in a private cloud or you can use it as a managed cloud service hosted and managed by WSO2 itself. Recently, we launched the WSO2 public cloud offering as well. You can go to WSO2 Identity Cloud, create an account for yourself and try it out. And if you like it, you can use it for your organization needs. The basic usage pattern of the WSO2 Identity Server is as a centralized identity provider. It connects to your user directories and exposes all those identities as services to your cloud applications and on-premise applications to be consumed. This is what we call identity or directory integration. Identity Server can help manage the life cycles of all your users. It provides a comprehensive UI in the admin console and also provides APIs such as Skim, which is a standard to provision and manage users and groups. It also provides advanced provisioning techniques like just-in-time provisioning or JIT to realize concepts such as bring your own identity. Automating the provisioning process alone won't be that helpful. You also need features such as workflow in order for a human to come and approve the new user creation in the system. To achieve this, Identity Server integrates seamlessly with the WSO2 BPS server for workflow support. One of the key differentiators of a good IAM system is how protocol agnostic it is. The WSO2 Identity Server provides single sign-on and brokered authentication across a wide variety of protocols such as SAML2 single sign-on, OpenID Connect, CAS and WS Federation. The reality today is that the digital boundaries of your organization are widening. Business decisions such as mergers, acquisitions, partnerships and the dominance of cloud applications in your enterprise possess new challenges in the IAM space. More specifically, you need to be able to provide access to users who are coming from outside your traditional organizational boundary to access your system, your services and applications. This is called the erosion of the perimeter. In order to achieve this, an IAM system should be able to coexist in a federated identity environment. With its path-breaking identity bus capability, the identity server can function as an identity hub and connect to multiple service providers and identity providers and do protocol bridging and token format translation in order to connect to these multiple systems. Identity Server supports a wide range of multi-factor authentication connectors such as FIDO, Google Authenticator, SMS OTP, email OTP and more such strong authentication connectors. With its self-service capability, Identity Server is able to increase the organization's efficiency and optimize your operations, which is very important for a successful digital business. In this regard, it provides features such as self-sign-up, self-password reset, self-account recovery, self-profile management, managing your social identities, and managing your second-factor authentication devices. 
The WSO2 identity server can also function as a full-blown OAuth2 authorization server, which can manage the keys and tokens which are necessary to secure the business APIs that you wish to provide for your consumers. The WSO2 identity server also functions as a fully compliant ZACML3 authorization engine which provides fine-grained entitlements management and access control. The WSO2 identity server also provides out-of-the-box analytics for those login events and managed sessions. It also triggers notifications for any suspicious activity on those login events and sessions that it manages. The analytics capabilities are powered by the WSO2 Data Analytics Server or DAS. What makes the identity server even more fascinating is its plugin architecture. If you go to store.wso2.com, you can find a large list of connectors which we've written and developed over a period of time using this plugin architecture. These connectors include multi-factor authentication connectors, provisioning connectors to third-party systems, and OAuth2 grant types. So feel free to download and try the WSO2 Identity Server product. You can join our user community on Stack Overflow or Jitter, or you can join our official mailing lists at architecture at wso2.com or dev at wso2.com. We will love to hear your feedback. Thanks.